Really excited about it. I mean, season two, we were, we were left with a cliffhanger. So I'm excited for the fans to see where we pick up and to see what happens. There's some there's some shockers at the beginning of season three that I think are going to surprise a lot of people. I know I was certainly surprised when I when I read it in the script. <laughs> so um, I'm excited for the fans to 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 see season three. And I think there's a lot of action and a lot of really cool stories and cases that we're going to solve. We're going to meet a lot of new characters this season. Um, the team expands in a way, which I, I think is was really exciting um, and has added to the overall dynamic of our show and and sort of the the team, um, the the team camaraderie. Um, so that, so that's that's really exciting. I mean, like I said, you know, more people coming in, to, you know, more sort of. I look at the team like we're all like our own version of the Avengers in a way. We all have our own <laughs> skills and strengths. So this season, we we bring more people onto the team to help us solve cases more um, uh, expeditiously. There are a few. I mean, and and this season we actually traveled to quite a few different places. We went to Italy. We went to many cities in Italy this year. We went to Norway. We went um, to Amsterdam. We went to uh, the Czech Republic. We went to Croatia, um, and, and yes, there are sort of the the natural customs of of each place that that do play a role in the team the team's ability to solve their case. Because sometimes, you know, when the team goes to a place, they don't always get the cooperation that they will want from the local government and from the local police force. So I think that's that adds to the drama. Um, and I think we'll see a little bit of that in season three. Um, you, you see you see some heads uh, be butted uh, quite a few times that I think adds to the overall tension and drama of the show. It, you know, it's this has been a really cool experience for me in the sense that because I am actually in another country, I'm not in my foreign, I'm, I'm not in my, my, uh, my native land. So the fact that I am abroad, um, I'm able to add and infuse that into what my character is going through because he also is an American that's living abroad. He's an expat, you know? So that's been a cool thing for me to play as an actor is like how I can draw on some of my own personal experiences and infuse it into what my character is going through. We're obviously different people, but we have a shared experience in the sense that we are Americans living abroad, yeah. trying to do a job, right? And I think, you know, that's also what has really um, bonded our cast. You know, we're all living abroad. None of us are from, you know, the respective countries that we're filming in. So, so I think that's been a really cool experience to that really expedited our bonding process from the very beginning of the show and I think now you cut to season three and we're like family you know we've known each other now for years we've lived abroad with each other for years so I think that's really brought us together and I also think that's what brings in, in a way that's what brings the characters together so it's, it's a really cool kind of um it's a bit of a meta experience because the characters and and us are experiencing the same thing in different ways. Really great question. Um, this experience and this job has been a, a, a huge blessing for me because in many ways, I think it's given me the opportunity to expand as a human and expand as an individual. You know, it's really opened my worldview, you know, because I think for a lot of people, until you're exposed to certain things, or have certain experiences, you just you're you're ignorant to certain things. You you don't know you don't know until you know you don't know. So I think for me, this has been a real blessing in getting to, you know, travel the world and and really be immersed in different cultures. Um, and, and funny enough, again, that is exactly what my character is going through. And I think that's sort of the cool, and and really special link between us. You know, it's, you know, there's that saying that that art imitates life right I, mm -hmm. I think to take it a step further I think art actually expresses life you know and I'm in a situation right now where both my art and my life are at an intersection and it's, it's been a really unique experience um this this may be the most unique
project I'll have ever, I mean, definitely up until now, this is the most unique project I've ever been a part of. Um, who knows what will happen in the future, but for now, this has been a huge blessing for me and I'm, I'm extremely grateful to be here and to be a part of it. That is exactly how I feel. It's funny because uh, <laughs> I have a trainer. So my character has transitioned from being more of the the computer guy to now I'm I'm more of the fighter on the team. I have a lot of action and a lot of stunts that I have to do. I get into a lot of fist fights and shootouts and it's a, there's a lot of action <laughs> in season three. But the funny thing is, you know, as to, to prepare myself for what I have to do in the show, you know, I train in the gym. And one of the jokes with my trainer that I have is like, every time it gets hard and I'm in the gym and I'm lifting weights and like, if, if I want to like take a break, it's like, no, man, you have to save the world. <laughs> like, like, come on, man, lift it. You have to save the world. So that's been my own personal sort of uh, um, link to the show is like, you know what? Even when I'm in the, in the gym, we're doing things in my personal life. It's like, oh, I have to be ready to save the world. So, uh, so it's a fu funny joke with my trainer, but uh, but I do really feel it, feel that way. 